Hey Warriors, and Dan Ostrella Rex coming back at you with another video and today we're going to talk about why text and in particular quadro twist and why you need to try to string. So I'm here with Sean and Sean is one of the best singles players out on the level and uh, he was using some other strings so Sean why don't you tell us what strings you were using. I was using the Babylon RPM. RPM Blast. Mm -hmm. And what did you like about that string? The, the RPM blast, it felt like it had a decent amount of spin, uh, you know, decent control, and, you know, I'm a big hitter, so I need it to last. I don't need to break it fast. And what string did you try after RPM blast? I tried the Quadra Force. And you also tried Solito Hyper G. Yes. Because there's a lot of hype with Hyper G going yes. on right now. Mm -hmm. um, compared to two strings, what, what did you like about the Hyper G? So, the, the Hyper G initially didn't play well. Uh, it took maybe two or three uses for it to feel like I was hitting the ball, decent or had any type of feel. And uh, honestly, no, I, it was kind of bothering my arm. I'm pretty sure it's the string because uh, I'm using the quadruple twist and my arm's not bothering me anymore. And uh, yeah, just, it was, initially it was just a, not a good string. It took a while and it was bothered. Just, I just, overall, in the long run, it's hurting my arm. And so now you've been using the quadruple twist for a couple weeks now. Mm -hmm. and Tell me a little bit about what's that done for your game and what you really like about it. Mm. The, the quadratives, I just noticed that uh, even when I hit flatter balls, you know, I'm spinning them in more. And I keep it strong and loose, but it's, it's not so dead. I mean, it's not so lively that I'm hitting balls out. I'm still making good plays on power shots and a lot of spin. And, uh, my arm's not bothering me, so that's a big, big one. Definitely a very softish Oh. easier on the arm. Oh, yeah, and what would you say about your serve and your spin generation? Have you noticed anything different on your kick serve? On the kick serve, I definitely got a little bit more bite on it, especially when I really, you know, go after it. It's that it's jumping a lot. And uh, that's what I like about it. Twist. You know, I like that you can see the braids on the string too. You know, I know it's working. I know it's working. And even after two weeks, it's still playing really, really well, right? Still plays well. It, you know, it, it starts it starts off fine and fine. You know, even after you play with it, the tension doesn't drop very much. You know, not so bad that I'm spraying balls everywhere. That was good. And it hasn't broke on you, so no, the durability no. seems to be pretty good for somebody who hits the ball as hard as you do. Oh yeah, yeah. Durability is great. I haven't had a problem with it, and I'm gonna keep playing with it. I like it. All right. Well, there you have it. Very, very happy customer with Ytex. If you haven't checked them out, definitely give it a try. All right, Matt, so we're going to talk a little bit about Ytex and about some of the other strings that you've used. So before we get into Ytex, tell me what strings that you've tried that you were using prior. Uh, mainly I was using the Solenco 16L green string. The Hyper G. Hyper G. The right. Hyper G. Yep. And what did you like about that string? I love the soft of that string compared to the hybrids I was going with RPM Blast and the Synthetic Gut 16. It was very consistent, good control. Um, not as much power probably as the hybrid that I had, but the control was there and that's what I was going for. Gotcha. And so then when you tried the Quadro Twist, how did that compare? What did you like about that? What did you immediately notice? Everything was better. The power was there, the spin was better, the the, mainly the feel at the net it gives me a little bit more confidence at the net and when I'm confident at the net my whole game gets more confident. Awesome and I know you mentioned something about your serve after you were using that string you were like I could hit anywhere that you wanted on your serve which of course being a big server is huge when you can get that added bonus of placement right? Definitely definitely could get a little more top spin into the court and a little deeper in the box get it to move a little more out wide especially and that definitely helped me. Yeah, awesome. Now, the one thing that we did notice about the Hyper G is that you had a tendency to break it. So, yeah, how right. has the Quadro Twist done in terms of durability? So far, I've played uh, five matches with it. No loss of looks like tension or durability on that side. Uh, I would go maybe three matches on good hardcore you know, matches on the Solenco and maybe both. So, it's going to save you money. Definitely, absolutely. Just because it's not breaking, but of course the longevity of it and its ability to hold tension and still perform after five matches has got to be a good feeling. Absolutely, definitely. Anytime you can save money and play tennis at the same time, it's a, it's a winner. Yeah, absolutely. No, I agree. So now you've also tried Triangle Twisted Purple. Yes. Um, compare that to the Quadro Twist and, you know, what you said you liked both. But I do. What, what is it about the Triangle Twisted Purple that you like and compare that to the Quadro Twist for you? 
Well, I feel like I've played better with both, but the uh, the purple, maybe not as much top spin on some of my shots, but it's, it's that confidence thing. When I have both of them on the racket now, it seems like it's it's just there. I can hit it. It's just as soft, if not softer, than the quadro twist. So. So I didn't notice the same tension stability in yeah. that as well. And yeah, I played three matches with that racket, okay. and it feels fantastic still. Well, that's awesome. Both strong at 54. They've been holding stuff. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I, I don't think you can go wrong. I mean, Ytex for a up and coming brand. They've been around for about five years now, and um, I always tell everybody if you haven't tried their strings, you need to try them because not only will they save the wallet, but the performance is right up there with the big boys. It is definitely there. Um, I've, honestly, I've never heard of them until you mentioned them to me. And I'm pretty set on it now. Definitely over the Selenko for sure. Yeah, so. well, well, that's awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. Here's another happy player with the Y-Tex Quadro Twist and Triangle Twisted Purple. So if you haven't tried Y-Tex, you really need to give them a try.